Greetings from Tokyo, my dear, dear friends. This is Daisuke, and I very much hope that this video finds you well and in very, very good spirits wherever you are in the world. And today, if you don't mind, I would very much like to continue on our exploration through the set released by the Criterion Collection early this year, 2020, which is called The Complete Films of Agnes Varda. And today, specifically, I'd like to focus our attention, if I may, on that disc in the set, which is called Program 10. And such disc of Program 10 is given the title Jacques Demi. This is program 10, the 10th disc in the great set called The Complete Films of Agnès Varda. It is called Jacques Demy. This is very important, of course, because we understand and recall and remember that Agnès Varda was married to Jacques Demy, and they shared a life, they shared a family, they shared experiences. and. This component, this aspect, this very key part of her life has been shared with us, viewers and the world, through the realm and through the avenues of Agnes Varda's cinematic works, as we have seen collected in this program 10 disc. The films in question, by the way, are Jaco de Nantes from 1991, and then The Young Girls Turn 25 from 1993, and The World of Jacques Demy from 1995. The first of these films can be described as being a type of narratively uh, constructed work, but based directly on the recollections and experiences of Jacques Demy. So we have these reconstructions of Jacques Demy's childhood expressed in this beautiful cinematic way. And along the way, we get the wonderful influence of, of black and white and color photography as we get the stories that really make up the childhood experiences of Jacques Demy. We also understand through the realm of this particular work of art that Jacques Demy himself was very much uh, trying to share with Agnes Varda and thus with the rest of us this aspect of his childhood and his growing up and his family life and living uh, during this time during World War II and also uh, from the background that he came from how he became interested in film and what it was and what his journey was in discovering aspects of film and photography and the art of storytelling and exploring films as they were released in theaters, as I say, as he was growing up in this area, uh, Nantes, and uh, the various people that he met along the way and the way in which he viewed the world and people around him as well as what he wanted to do with himself and his own life that led him on the path that we understand he ended up being, which was the path of a great world-class filmmaker. This is a film that is touching and heartwarming, and it is made uh, even more so, perhaps, because of the caring and compassionate cinematic eye of Agnes Varda, which goes to capture, as I say, these wonderfully rendered recreations of, of uh, Jacques Demy's childhood through the wonderful performances of the actors involved and also the set pieces and the way that it uses the actual environments that were part of Jacques Demy's life. 
We also get this brilliant use of black and white and color photography. There are very strategic moments, but also very emotional moments where the change between the two formats or the two presentations uh, is made. And uh, we, we begin to see and sense the immediacy of these uh, constructed recreations of Jacques Demy's life in a fashion that enables us, I think, to appreciate simultaneously the notion of this being, as I say, uh, f f in most part, a film that is a, ne a construction of Jacques Demy's childhood through the application of cinema and the great performances of various actors. Uh, but also, it reminds us that while being a construction, it is also an attempt at conveying a sense of truth. That is the life of this real-life person, Jacques Demy. So it is, in an interesting way, a yet a further exploration or avenue of this thing that Agnes Varda does so well in her works, namely using an element of this kind of cinematic presentation, whether it be fictionalized story or narrative construction or the application of cinema in order to try to tell real life events. Whatever the case may be, she is using this aspect of cinema and storytelling to get at a kind of truth. And the truth here is the experience, the lived in pure and and, uh, and uh, glorious experience of Jacques Demy's discovery while living uh, in France during these years. So uh, using this avenue of cinema to get at a sense of truth, which is, I think, at the heart of Varda cinema, it is certainly very active in a, in a splendid way in this film, Jaco de Nantes. But that is, of course, not all, because we also get this great and very intimate, incredibly intimate, portrait uh, uh, and capturing of moments in time of Jacques Demy himself. And we get some of his face-to-face uh, -face direct conversation. We also get very, uh, very intimately uh, uh, composed shots of Jacques Demy himself. Uh, we understand that these were images that were taken of him, not uh, uh, not very long before his uh, untimely passing, of course. And so these are very close uh, in proximity to his, his passing, which makes them, I think, very, very poignant and almost, in a way, so intimate and so emotional, uh, thus further reminding us just how close and how uh, intimately tied this film is to the real life experience of Agnes Varda and her relationship with Jacques Demy. Uh, it's a, it, it becomes almost a portrait of Jacques Demy, but it also becomes a capturing of a moment in time or moments in time of Jacques Demy himself. Whether, and also it's an expression of his legacy, but it's an expression of his legacy uh, by, uh, by, in essence, uh, celebrating his life and where he came from and also reminding us and capturing moments in time with respect to Jacques Demy, the man who he was uh, at this precise moment in time in the early 1990s. This is therefore an extraordinarily emotional work on many levels that again serves as a kind of reminder, a very vivid and intimate one, that Agnes Varda's cinema equals Agnes Varda herself, and that this is in many ways uh, an expression of her because of her love and devotion uh, to this, uh, this man uh, with whom she shared uh, hit her life. And this is, of course, Jacques Demy in this film as depicted, Jaco de Nantes. With respect to Jaco de Nantes, as we find it in this set, and in particular in this program 10 disc, we should point out that the supplements included with such film are among the most powerful and poignant of the supplements that can be found here or elsewhere or anywhere in the Criterion Collection. They are very emotional, and uh, therefore they are... Uh, they are quite important and very much uh, closely linked with the experience of watching the film Jacques de Nantes itself. So what am I talking about here? So first we are talking about a 
a supplement from 2008, which is called Añez Tells a Sad and Happy Story, which is uh, approximately 17 minutes. This is a collection or gathering of footage or conversations or interview type of scenarios with Agnes Varda, where she is, in essence, uh, recollecting her experiences with this film and also the, you know, the time that she was spending with Jacques Demy around this time, very close to his unfortunate passing. She tells us about how she was trying to support Jacques Demy in his wish and hope to try to express a lot of these memories that he had about his childhood. And it ended up becoming what we now know to be the film Jaco de Nantes. There are some very, very powerful and poignant and emotional uh, episodes that Varda herself recounts and tells uh, as gathered in this particular 2008 short uh, it's 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 uh, it's quite uh, quite emotional indeed when sh we see her in particular talking about how she was still trying to work and trying to uh, trying to uh, uh, figure out some aspect of the editing and uh, how uh, this became very powerful and very emotional for her but still it became something of of capturing the life essence of Jacques Demy, uh, even when he passed away. And so this, uh, therefore, points to the fact that, as I indicated earlier, cinema equals Varda. In other words, her life is so expressed in her cinema. And this aspect of her life with uh, Jacques Demy is captured so beautifully and so poetically in the film. And we get an indication of this, a strong indication and a beautifully told indication, I might add, as an example, uh, part of this supplement, Agnes tells a sad and happy story. This is unforgettable, and it's definitely worth checking out if you haven't already. And then to continue on, we have another 2008 short program called Souvenirs and uh, Evocations, or Evocation. And this is very interesting because this is approximately six minutes, and we have various participants or interviews with filmmakers. And these are uh, explorations and discussions of how these three filmmakers, in essence, discovered cinema and how it was they became enamored with the art form that is cinema. This is a beautiful parallel to Jaco de Nantes, because as we know with that film, Jaco de Nantes is, among other things, a story about Jacques Demy's discovery of cinema, the beautiful, glorious moment that he discovered this and he decided to pursue it to the point that he ended up doing in his wonderful career. So uh, this uh, program, Souvenirs and Evocations, or Souvenirs and Evocations, or Evocation, uh, is a, another uh, charming portrait and again, a wonderful reminder of the beauty and glory that is cinema that was at the heart and soul of the artist Jacques Demy. Again, ex captured so beautifully by Agnes Varda. And then we have, to round out the supplements for this, a great trailer for Jaco de Nantes. Then to continue on with the films that are also part of the main attraction of this program, 10 Disc, we have two documentaries that were prepared by or made by Agnes Varda as other means, other really great and effective means of celebrating and memorializing the cinematic legacy of Jacques Demy. And the first of these is The Young Girls Turn 25, and the second of these is The World of Jacques Demy. So these comprise, these make up the second and third films in this program 10 disc. The Young Girls Turn 25 and The World of Jacques Demy. Those who know the Criterion Collection's set, which is called The Essential Jacques Demy, will no doubt already know and be aware of and have seen these two documentaries, The, World, uh, the Young Girls Turn 25 and The World of Jacques Demy. 
So the Young Girls Turn 25, again from 1993, is a documentary or a, a kind of, of capturing of the, the concept, if you will, of cinema and space and time. And in particular, what we are talking about is the film The Young Girls of Rochefort by Jacques Demy, which is, again, as I say, included as part of the set. Um, you can also get it uh, through other means as well. Uh, so uh, perhaps for those of you who uh, are interested in watching this particular documentary, it might be, or I would suggest it is very much uh, recommended that you watch the film The Young Girls of Rochefort uh, before watching this particular documentary. Uh, this is, by the way, a, 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 a terrific film. And uh, I hope one of these days I can have the opportunity to speak more about this and other films of Jacques Demy. But uh, in any event, what we have in this set, uh, the complete films of Agnes Varda, is the documentary, The Young Girls Turn 25, which is about how the uh, place of Rochefort is trying to celebrate the anniversary of the film, uh, The Young Girls of Rochefort. And upon this occasion, we get a celebration of the film, we get a gathering of participants, and we also get the opportunity by Varda to explore the place and certain choices that were made by Jacques Demy in order to try to uh, uh, capture the story that was at the heart of the film, The Young Girls of Rochefort. We get uh, how the place has changed versus how it looked in the film. We also get these, uh, 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 these recollections and stories from participants, including Catherine Deneuve and others, and Arnes Varda and others. And so this film, this documentary, is in essence a kind of celebration, if you will, of the great work by Jacques Demy, the young girls of Rochefort. It is also a means by which Agnes Varda is showing us the truly uh, uh, wonderful and global impact that a film by Jacques Demy, The Young Girls of Rochefort, truly had on this place and on the world. And we see also in, uh, insights into Jacques Demy's craft as a filmmaker and artist, his choice, his use, his ideas and approach to music and dance in particular, and how to capture that on screen, uh, and which is, of course, a very essential part of not just this film, but of Jacques Demy's filmography, his filmmaking, his, his body of work. So uh, it also shows us in this a splendid way the notion of how a place is affected by its people, its inhabitants, also by the, the, uh, the, the effect of cinema. So in essence, as we've seen in past Varda's works, we've seen how she is also concerned, among other things, with the environment and how place and people are related, how people affect a place and how place affects uh, the people. Uh, we've seen this as in uh, many of his uh, of Varda's past works included in this set. Here, I think we, uh, I would argue that we get a very similar kind of concern, the notion of the environment and how that was important, how that affected the people and the film and the art that was Jacques Demy's work. And so we get a, an added application of effect, namely uh, people, place, but also art as well, a level of art that is the young girls of Rochefort. So this means that this is, again, a fascinating uh, insight into the concerns of Varda as a filmmaker, as well as her trying to preserve in cinematic means the legacy of Jacques Demy uh, via this work, The Young Girls Turn 25. So incredibly essential stuff. Um, incidentally, we should point out that the uh, the set includes as part of the supplements for this film. Uh, it has the introduction from 2012 from Agnes Varda herself. And uh, she goes into uh, some wonderful comments, as she always does in her introductions, about the nature of some of Jacques Demy's choices, about the the uh, the 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 genesis of this particular documentary itself and what it meant to her as a whole. So uh, this is a really, again, 
as with all of the other introductions from Varda that we have in this set, this is a must watch, a must see. Uh, also, as I say, uh, for anyone who hasn't seen it, I would strongly recommend, of course, checking out the works of Jacques Denis, including, of course, The Young Girls of Rochefort. Then to round out the films in this program 10 disc, we have the work The World of Jacques Demy, which is also perhaps best described as being a documentary. This is a also a wonderful companion work to those other two works that we saw in this program 10, so Jacques Audenant and uh, The Young Girls Turn 25. This can be said to be, in many aspects, a kind of exploration or overview or revisitation of the cinematic legacy of Jacques Demy as told through or as experienced through the eyes and the, uh, and the experiences of Agnes Varda. And so in that sense, it feels like a wonderful way in film documentary terms to preserve and celebrate the cinematic legacy of Jacques Demy. So in that sense, it's a really great companion piece, shall we say, to Jacques Audenant. That earlier film, of course, could be said to be an uh, exploration and celebration of Jacques Demy's childhood and his life growing up to become the filmmaker that he, he ended up becoming. And then the world of Jacques Demy can be said to be a celebration and affirmation, reaffirmation of the, the splendid glory that was the cinematic legacy uh, itself of Jacques Demy, as told or as experienced or as uh, preserved by the one, the only, Agnes Varda. So this, uh, this work, The World of Jacques Demy, is essential and it is brilliant. It is also a story or it is a legacy or it is a, it is a visit an exploration through Jacques Demy's cinematic legacy. In that oh-so-charming Agnes Varda way, she, uh, she talks to uh, participants, uh, many of the actors, and also uh, the uh, uh, crew and other filmmakers and artists who worked with Jacques Demy. Uh, there are these wonderful episodes about uh, specific films themselves. Also, uh, a, a nice way in which uh, a discussion about Jacques Demy's career is had, while also doing it in that lovely, affable, and charming, down-to-earth way that Agnes Varda uh, uh, employs whenever she tells stories and whenever she talks to us, the viewers, uh, with a wonderful twinkle in the eye and a wonderful acknowledgement of the the uh, the effervescent charm and wit and uh, magical quality that was the cinematic world of Jacques Demy. And she preserves that and she protects that and she also celebrates that and shows us that and how much it meant not just to her but to many people around the world, many, many fans of the world of Jacques Demy. Uh, and so uh, this is a loving portrait, a wonderful dedication and a a charming and emotional reminder of just how powerful and serene and artistic and magical this cinematic legacy of Jacques Demy was and is and will continue to be. So this is, again, another essential work from Agnes Varda, a great way to remember that artist that was and is the one, the only, Jacques Demy in this work, the world of Jacques Demy. And with this, we have the accompanying supplement as part of this, um, as part of this set here, which is another introduction, another great one from Agnes Varda from 2012. It is brief, as with all of her other introductions, so this one is approximately a minute or so, but her comments are shining and are uh, insightful and are uh, on point, and it's, uh, as with all of her introductions, it's worth checking out, again, her introduction to the world of Jacques Demy. And I should say, therefore, in conclusion, that we have this wonderful entry, this wonderful disc, Program 10, which is essential in an exploration 
through the world of Agnes Varda. I should say also that for me personally, uh, there are, of course, many, many aspects of Agnes Varda's life and her uh, filmography and career that are utterly fascinating. But I must say that whenever we see her talk about Jacques Demy, and whenever we see her mention, especially this part of her film uh, body of work, when it touches directly upon the uh, memories and experiences that uh, uh, Jacques Demy shared with her and that she shared with him, there is a, a real sense of emotion in her voice and in her demeanor and in her manner as we see it captured in the various supplements that we see that makes this particularly poignant in a body of work that is filled with so much poignancy. It's an indication once again, as I've said before and I'll say again, that Varda's cinema is Varda herself. As an example, as a, as a really shining example of this, of this, her films, as we find it captured in this program, are indeed her, are indeed Agnes Varda, and that they capture this part of her life that we understand so important to her, and we can understand why. Uh, so this is the Program 10 disc, which is called Jacques Demy. Okay, my friends, so that's it for now. And so until we meet again, please be happy and healthy and well, and please keep on watching a lot of great, great movies. Thank you so much, as always, for your time. I really appreciate it. Stay strong, stay safe, and cheers. Thank you.